breaking news, and the Tri-State's most accurate forecast. This is 9 on your side. We're covering breaking news in Florence for you. A shooting that left an officer injured and a suspect dead. Nine on your side was there as a number of officers showed up at UC Medical Center and left with the person we think was that injured officer. Now his co-workers tell Nine on your side he did the right thing. The officer did an outstanding job. Uh, his training kicked in, his professionalism, and he handled the situation. It was tragic, but uh, you know he handled it the way he thought he should have handled it. Now let's take you back. Here's what happened. Police were called to the Super 8 Hotel and reports of drug activity. We're told an officer knocked on the door and that's when one of three people inside opened fire. The officer was able to take cover and shoot back. And we know the person who shot the officer was killed, but it's still unclear if he was killed by the officer or took his own life. The officer involved cut his head when diving out of the way and did receive stitches. SWAT members then secured the hotel with a room by room sweep to make sure everyone was accounted for. We also know officers removed a man from the hotel in handcuffs just after 1220. Now this all happened at lunch hour 1220 as we said and several area businesses and restaurants were locked down at the time. Nine on your sides Evan Millward is in Florence right now. He met up with witnesses who actually saw that officer moments after the shots were fired. Evan. And as you can imagine those witnesses were frantic when our cameras got out here to the scene. That scene also frantic, a little bit of chaos, and witnesses describing to us now just a gruesome scene inside this hotel. They describe a lot of blood in a lot of places. But I want to show you the, perhaps the most striking image from all of this. A mother clutching her young child, her baby, running from this scene as this was all happening. And keep in mind, businesses here open in the middle of a lunch rush. They were forced into lockdown, closed. And for the first responders, the men and women calling, uh, responding to these calls for help. There was fear for their safety. Perhaps the first bit of positive news from all this is when we talked to a witness who said he saw the officer who had been shot at. He was up walking around and talking to everyone, letting them know he was, for the most part, okay. Police officer that supposedly got shot, he had blood. Um, he had a, a scrape here. I don't know if he hit his head or he got shot, whatever it was, I don't know. But, uh, um, and he had dried blood around his eye and about to his cheekbone. Now that man is from out of town. He tells us that he heard a bunch of pops, some kids screaming. He thought it was just kids having fun out in the parking lot. And then he saw that massive police presence you've been seeing throughout the evening here on 9 on your side and even at noon. And we are, again, still waiting for some updates on this. We don't know the name of the officer who was injured. We don't know the name of the now dead suspect in this case. We're told that information could come down out here at any time. We'll be watching it. We'll have updates for you as we get them. Until then, we're live in Florence. Evan Millward, 9 on your side. All right, Evan, thank you.